did not. Wow, I wanted to talk to you about community because okay. you do such great work with at-risk youth. And I wanted to yep. talk to you about it and why it's so important to you and how can we too as individuals contribute to our community in a positive way like you do? Well, get, get in the of center all, of this screen a little bit. You're like halfway okay. here. Yeah, how about right that? there is perfect. Yeah. Because you got a great face. Why hide it? You know, if you didn't, you know like, go ahead and just sit down Baby. with the. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So talk to yeah. me about community service, man, because I, I give you kudos and, and 10 fingers up on that one. Well, you know, I always say, you know, experience has been the best teacher. Mm -hmm. So some of my my experience, you know, I kind of grew up in that environment. You know, you know things weren't there. They just wasn't at your feet. You have to go and get it. Yeah. So, you know, and, and I was wondering as a kid, like, who could do this thing? Or who could do that, you know? And I, you know, you you end up doing it all yourself. But at the same time, you always think, I said, man, I wish somebody would have some type of after-school program. Or, or man, somebody mother would pull up with some sandwiches or something. You know, I was always thinking about a couple sandwiches. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, you know. It, it, so then, when you get older, you say, you think about it. You say, well, you know, I want to provide those services. You know, I don't want a kid in and out of jail. Y'all don't want a kid on drugs. I don't, you know, I, I, I want a kid to finish high school and, and possibly go to college. You know, I mean, college ain't for everybody. You know, I've learned that as well. You know, I, because you didn't go to college don't mean you're not going to be successful. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, man, I, your sound cut out on me. And, and, and it starts with the youth. You know, if we could build them up and put them in a the position so they can win, their kids will win and their kids will win. Because, you know, there was a breakage, you know, in, in our community, you know, when crack came, you know, it tore a lot of stuff down. A lot of people lost homes. Uh, people had business and corner stores. And, you know, it, it, it kind of tore, it tore the community down, down, down. Yeah. You know, and so, and so I just, you know, and so we're a little behind, we're a little behind. And, uh, and we didn't have some of the advantages uh, a lot of other uh, cultures have, you know? And uh, I'm not saying that it's an excuse for us to uh, accept failure mm -hmm. or, you know, sob around, but I'm just saying it makes it a lot easier. So I always been in the mindset of helping any and everybody I can, you know? And, and, and quite honestly, I know I started with my people first because I, I believe that um, I really need to propel them. But me, I have anybody from any race. I don't care. Yeah, it ain't, it ain't a race thing because right. yeah. you right. know, communities are messed up regardless of the color of your skin. And there yep. were just black people in our community. There were people right. that were there that the money that their parents made qualified them to be where they were. Nobody well said. chose anything. It was, right. they had everything already set up for us. Okay, you make right. 15,000, you get this little corner on the side or whatever it was. But all together, it made, because they put us all together in a way that was by our income, it made us feel embarrassed about being there. Right, right. You know, but you know, I, my grandfather, um, you know, he was a hard worker, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, and that's something I picked up, you know, work hard, be consistent, you know, and, um, you know, my grandmother, she didn't work, you know. Um, he came home, he made the money, gave it to the wifey, she paid all the bills, you know how it was back in those days. And so, and that's something I always, you know, I always understood that a man should be a provider, you know, what's wrong with being a provider? That don't mean you're a sucker or a trick. Come on, right. man, stop it. Knock it off. Move a little middle to the camera for, yeah. for your friend. That don't mean you're, I'm sorry. That's I'm sorry. Right. That don't mean you're a sucker because you're a provider. That just means you're a man. So that, oh, she a gold digger. Why? Because she want her nails done. She want to keep herself up. But she, yeah. you know, she would like beautiful things. That don't make her a gold digger, bro. I mean, you like nice cars and nice rims, stuff like that. And so, you know, um, if that's your woman, you know, it's all right to provide. So, and, you know, I think all that go in together with um, helping the youth, 
helping the wife, helping the kids, you know, and if you got daughters, you, you want to show them love. So when they get older, guess what? They deal with a man. They know what love feels like. Yes, you know what I mean? Indeed. You know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, the youth for me is um, the future. As everybody I know, it sounds cliche, but it's the truth. No, it is. It's so it's so the truth. So you know, um, and I, and I, I want to be able to, um, you know, like my wife. She helped kids get college grants. Mm-hmm. She sat down and helped them with their FAFSA, their parents and stuff. I don't know. I had a kid. Um, he had went to, uh, I want to say San Diego, I don't remember, state, and he was a, he was on the full, he, well, he, he, his parents didn't fill out a trap, so they told him he had, he had to get out, they told him to get out, so, but I did, well, so, Marlon Greenwood, the vice president for the NFL alumni, I called him and said, please, we gotta help this kid, yeah. so, he, he was in California, and he said, do you know anyone out there to help him? So I called Commissioner Mike Davis in downtown. He worked for um, Mr. Garcetti down there. I called Mike. And um, Mike called down and got on their butts. And Mike said, hey, this kid is an honor student. We, y'all got all these kids coming from other different countries, paying for their tuition. And y'all going to kick him out because the Shasta ain't done? Yeah. You know, come on. And so Mike Davis... Uh, shout out to Mike Davis. Yeah, shout you know. out to him. Thank you yeah. for stepping yeah. up. And, and and yeah, you ought to get Mike on here. Mike Davis. He's he's uh he's commissioner of Depot. He worked for Barcelona. He's downtown. I'll, I'll give him your contact. Just have him on. Here. He's a very yeah. I would um, love to have him because oh know, my god, it's he's like, amazing. This is what I did this podcast for, you know, to talk, express, relate, and connect together. Because when we do that, there's so much that we can share. You know, there's so much that I learned from you today, like Mike and what he did, and possibly get the opportunity to have him on the show simply because me and you are getting down right now and just conveying how important the community is right this very second and i'm i feel the same way i'm in to the future because if we don't help them get to where they need to go then we're extinct as individuals who's going to carry on the legacy whether they have your last name or not it's not about that it's about each one of us seeing the importance in another person living a quality and decent life. This is about being right. inclusive. It ain't a color here. Although we need right. a lot of work in our culture, it's still not about color. It's whomever right. is ready to do such things. That's right. who it is. Right. 